Hello, my name is Simon and I'm a medical application engineer at Materialize. In this video, I will show you how to create your own grab unit cell for lattice structures using the Materialize Dreamatic software. The most common way to start creating a lattice structure is from a unit cell. This will be repeated many times in the volume or onto the surface you selected. Because a graph unit cell can have many complex shapes, it is nice to be able to create your own and adjust it on the fly. In this video, I will cover two methods to create your own graph unit cell, one starting from a base primitive shape and the other starting from an imported curve model in iGIS format. To create your own graph unit cell from a base primitive, go to the design menu and select create primitive, in this case, create a prism. These primitives can have different shapes, but in this case, we'll go for a four millimeter long, two millimeter radius, and a six number of faces, creating a hexagon. We'll hit apply, creating our primitive we're gonna base our lattice structure from. Now, if we can see, and we, first of all, going to visualize the triangles, we can already see the guideline of how our graph unit cell will be created following this skeleton of the base primitive. To transform that skeleton into a first version of the graph unit cell, go to mesh based lattice, select the prism, click keep existing mesh and hit apply. We now see that the skeleton has been transformed into a graph unit To adjust this graph unit, you can go to Mark, Mark Beam, and start selecting the beams you would like to remove from the unit. After selecting, you can hit Delete, and these will be removed from your graph unit. You can do the same for the sidebars. And once again, hit delete. Now, because we would like a honeycomb structure, we will also remove these last three beams from our base. And this leaves us with a nice graph unit cell that can be used in lattice structures. Now, if we would like to add a beam, we can go to lattice create beam and simply select how we want to add the beam. If we, in the end, would like to remove it again, we simply go mark, mark beam, select the beam, and remove. The last thing to do is to merge all the different structures under the graph list into one tight unit cell. Let's call it honeycomb. A second method is to import an IGES file that already contains the curves that create the skeleton of the graph unit cell, in this case a dodecahedron. You can already see that the curves are created and this can be done for example in another type of CAD software. The only thing to do is to go to Lattice, go to Convert to Graph and transform all the curves in that file to a lattice structure. Here you go. Once again, we will go to the graph list and merge all the different graphs into one unit cell. These were the two different types of how you can create and adjust your own graph unit cell. And these can be used in a different range of medical applications. For example, a cranial plate with a porous structure. This one specifically has used the honeycomb structure we just created in this video. Thank you for your attention. And this is the video on how to create your own graph unit cells.